In this video, I want to show you how you can find the height of any object using proportion. Okay. Imagine this is a person in a forest and he wants to find the height of this tree. Okay. And the only thing that he has is a measuring tape. Okay. Or a stick which is about one meters. Now, with that stick of which is about one meters, he wants to find the height of this tree. He is he and uh, and imagine that uh, the sun is out and uh, you can measure the length of the shadow. Suppose this is the sun, which is shining. So the shadow is suppose on the right. So the shadow will be here. Uh, suppose this is the shadow of this person. This is the shadow of this person. Shadow. And he measures the shadow to be, say, 5.5 meters. This is 5.5 meters. And this person is, say, 1.5 meters high. He knows that his height is 1.5 meters, or his or her height is 1.5 meters. And his or her shadow is 5.5 meters. Okay. And he also, the same sun is here. The same sun is here. So it also... Uh, throw the shadow and the shadow is here okay so this is the shadow of the tree which is say let us say this is 25 meters this is 25 meters and you want to find the height of the tree so let me draw a triangle okay so this is a right angle triangle so I hope you can see this okay so let me bring this slightly to the side okay so these two triangles are similar okay so let me draw a triangle from year to year so this is the okay so this is a right angle triangle and this is also a right angle triangle so let me draw two right angle triangles so that you can see it together so this is this this is a right angle triangle of this person this person is 1.5 meters and the shadow is 5.5 meters so this triangle is similar suppose this is a longer triangle a bigger triangle this is a right angle triangle okay this is only a sketch okay so this is the tree so this is the man or the woman this is the man or the person or the stick man and this is the tree we want to find the height of the tree. So the height of the tree is say x, and we know this is 225 meters. So how can we use this knowledge? So one thing that you have to understand is these two triangles are similar. That means the angles are all equal. So this angle, whatever that measure, is equal to this angle, and this angle is equal to this angle, because both of both these triangles are formed by the shadow and the shadow is the source of light is the same so these two triangles are similar using a common sense so now we can use this knowledge of similar triangles to find this so we can say well the ratio of this over this so i can say well x the ratio of this over 1.5 should be equal to the ratio of 20 or the ratio of heights would be equal to the ratio of shadows so this is 20 the order is very important can you see i started with x which is the tree to the height of the man which is 1.5 then i had to maintain the same order so this is the length of the shadow so 25 over 5.5 5. okay so let me cross multiply or multiply both sides by 1.5 so if i multiply this side by 1.5 i can also multiply 1.5 to this side so my final answer would be this and this gets cancelled so x is 25 times 1.5 divided by 5.5 so let me get my calculator 25 times 1.5 divided by 5.5 which is 6.8 or about 7 meters so this is 6.8 meters 
6.8 or roughly you can say this is 7 meter. The height of the tree is 7 meter. 